look at what kind of policies then should we have in the workplace? What are the things that we as women should actually look at doing and how we can actually better certain things and ensure that we have access to these things? So what are, have you ever looked at maternity leave and family responsibility policies and whether or not they are discriminatory against women? So for instance, the family friendly policies, Imagine if women couldn't have children at all and children couldn't be produced. What would society suffer? We would die in one generation. All of No, seriously. The social benefit of women carrying children is seen as a burden in the workplace. And yet, women, if women couldn't have children, there would be no generation coming after this. And uh, the issue of you being given maternity leave is almost seen as a brunt in the workplace. Yeah. How come? Because if society didn't have women carrying children, there'd be no generation of them. We can all say bye-bye. <laughs> Sign out. And so I'm saying that there should be social policies that are friendly. Men and women also need fle uh, flexi time. So it's not just women who look after children in the household, right? It's men as well. So having childcare arrangements, how many of our companies actually, not just flexi time, but allow, have childcare facilities for that matter? Mm -hmm. It's seen as a great cost, but you know the cost that women and co, when they work in the workplace and they're not able to access childcare facilities, they have to leave early. All the kind of arrangements they have to make. Why do workplaces not take seriously childcare facilities? Why? How many of your offices just, I just want to have childcare facilities? Which company is this? I want to <laughs> Only Old Mutual out of all the companies. Kim, how many companies are here? This is not for their branding. So we've got a, maybe about 20 companies represented here. But of all those companies, how many of you are saying, listen, in the management, how many, if those who sit in management, maybe you own the company. Have you looked at f f policies that are friendly to people with families? Not everyone has a family. Of course. So it doesn't mean to say that only family-friendly policies, but those who do have families, breastfeeding, are there conducive physical environments for that and so forth. And so, uh, you know, in the media, we find with looking at ads with people who are literally naked, but when, when, when women are breastfeeding, it's like, ah, your breast is out, but the, the magazine, ads, no one is wearing anything. Music videos, and then you complain when a woman is breastfeeding. Wake up. So, we really have problems. So, bringing children to work is not always possible, but these are arrangements that are done in the workplace. These are policies that are seen as conducive to women. Um, not only, I, I think being a woman is not only about having children, but I think uh, many women have children. And I think that we need to take that into cognizance. Those who don't have children, there's various policies for advancement uh, that, that require uh, organizations to look at the human resource practices to actually look at how women can be incorporated and able to be decision makers um, in the work